Hi guys, my name is Brandon Thomas and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how students can claim unemployment benefits. Let's get into it. It'd be easy to dismiss college students as workers only earning extra spending money, but that's an outdated view of who fills lecture halls today. Many students pay their college bills with earnings from a part-time job. Others may have moved back home when campuses started moving everything to a tour to online in March, but they still owe rent in off-campus apartments or have already signed leases for next year. In fact, of the nearly 11 million undergraduates who work while enrolled full-time, 27% work more than 20 hours a week, according to the National Center for Education Statistics. And with the restaurant and service industries taking such a severe hit in the pandemic, young people are likely disproportionately affected by the recent shutdown as they're more likely to work in those industries. To magnify the economic pain, as many as 13 million college students were left out of the stimulus checks. They neither received the $1,200 for themselves because their parents claimed them as dependents, nor did their parents receive $500 for them being a dependent because they're over 17 years old. College students should have more luck with expanded unemployment benefits under the CARES Act, but there are still some challenges. Normally, it's very hard for students to qualify for unemployment because they don't meet one or more of three common eligibility criteria. They either don't earn enough money, haven't worked long enough, or don't have the ability to accept full-time work. All are typical requirements, but this may depend on the state that you live in. Here's what we do know about the unemployment benefits, college students, and part-time workers. Federal work-study jobs are not eligible. There are more than 600,000 students around the country who are part of the federal work-study program, in which the federal government subsidizes some of their pay as part of a financial aid package. Those jobs are not considered insured wages, according to officials with the Iowa, with the Iowa Workforce Development, which runs the state's unemployment office. Even if a student pays income taxes, the employer, the college, doesn't pay unemployment insurance taxes. The Education Department told colleges in March that they could continue using work-study funds to pay students for their regularly scheduled work even after campuses closed, but that decision was ultimately up to the individual institutions. In most cases, they aren't paying. On-campus jobs usually aren't eligible for work. Colleges employ tons of hourly workers outside of work-study jobs, but those are not covered by normal unemployment insurance for the same reason. Colleges don't pay the federal unemployment tax, known as FUTA, that funds states' insurance systems. That's the same reason self-employed and 1099 workers aren't normally covered as well. Many colleges have tried to continue paying student employees through the remainder of the semester. Ohio University turned most of its on-campus jobs into remote jobs. About two-thirds of students chose to continue working in those remote jobs. At one university in Massachusetts, work-study payments continued throughout the semester and other student employees were paid through early April, including a final payment that was based on average earnings. Pandemic unemployment assistance should make it easier for more students to qualify. It's possible that some students should have worked long enough and earned enough to pass through their state's normal unemployment insurance system. But for all the others, there's the new Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, the PUA. This is the CARES Act provision that covers people not typically eligible for unemployment but also lost work because of the pandemic. And it explicitly states that workers looking for part-time jobs and workers without sufficient work history can be covered under this program. People who file through the PUA do not have to meet qualifying weeks and wages in the same way as they would for regular unemployment insurance program. All they need to do is meet one of the coronavirus related circumstances to qualify. There is a group out there that is pushing the federal government to expand its list of coronavirus related circumstances to cover those students who were forced to move away from campus because their dorms closed but whose place of employment remained open. If those workers are classified as having voluntarily quit, then they would not be eligible for unemployment, but really their dorms closed and they were still trying to work at the same time, but yet they had to move away, so they quit their job, no longer qualified. And lastly on this topic, it will be easier in some states than others. This applies to most things about unemployment, how you apply, how quickly you'll get the cash, and even how many eligible people will get help. All depends on where you live. 
In March, nearly 66% of unemployed Massachusetts residents received benefit payments, compared to just 7.6% of the same unemployed individuals in Florida. Again, it all depends on the state you apply for your unemployment benefits on how quickly you'll get the help. My overall advice to you guys, just apply. Even if there are some gray areas and you're not sure if you qualify, but you need the assistance, just apply. I hope this helps guys. Please give this video a like. Leave a comment below if you have a question and I'll try and answer it to as quickly as I can. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next video.